okay so now we will create our submit function but first right here we will remove that and we will say final note then note after this we will say final then we will call the function then update not list and after this in, in the constructor we will say add node screen and then inside here we will call this dot node and then this dot update not list so we will call this inside our constructor and also if we click on that we need to import our not dot not underscore model dot dot and get back to the home underscore screen dot dot file and right here we will remove the comment we commented this in the previous video so make sure to remove this comment this is inside outside our checkbox okay and inside this on tab and also let's move this to the next lines so that our code looks neat now get back to the add note screen now we have the note and the update note list and also we call it inside our constructor so now we will create our submit function so inside our submit function what we will do we will say if the underscore forum key dot current state then validate so this means uh, that if the uh, form is validated okay the user input all of the data then what we will do we will say underscore forum key dot current state then dot save we will save that and also let's just print the data in the run right here we will also print it so that we know that if our data is transferring to our database or not so okay first we will get the title then the date and after the date we will get the underscore priority and change this to underscore date then close the single quotes and then right here we will say note note will be equals to our note model then we will set the title to underscore title and the date will be set to underscore date and then the priority will be set to underscore priority after this we will add a if condition so now we will check if the widget dot note is null okay this means that if the user click on it then as you can see our uh, widget note is null okay the title is null the date is also null and also the priority is also null so if this is null let's just type right here so if the widget dot note is null then what we will do we will simply add the node to the user's database okay so for that we will say node dot status and the status will be equals to zero and after this we will say database helper dot instance and we will call the insert node function let me show you this is our insert node function so we call that function right here 
and after this when we insert the data to our database then we will simply navigate the user back to the home screen so when the user type anything right here okay fill our fill this node and click on this node then we will redirect the user to the node screen and then right here if the widget dot node is not equals to null then this means that the user is on the update note so if the user is on the update note page then we will simply update the note so for that right here we will type node.id okay and the node.id will be equals to widget dot note then dot id and the note dot status now we are checking if the note id and the status is equals to the widget note id and status because we want to change that note which the user selects okay we don't want to change any other note so right here we will say widget dot note and then we will say dot status and after this if the entered id and status is equals to the widget uh, id and status then we will update our database so right here we will type database helper dot instance then dot update node this is our function so we will call that and then after this we will again navigate the user to the home screen and then after the else part right here we will say widget dot update node list at the null checker and then at this so after the if else condition we will update the node list okay so now let's just test our application and see if the data is being inserted into the database or not so let's just restart our application again and as you can see we are on the add node so the title will be football match and then the date will be today's date which is august 16 and the priority uh, level will be high click on add node and it shows that type null is not a subtype of string function exact okay let's just create our init state so after this list we will create a init state so inside this init state we will say if the widget dot node is not equals to null so it means that if the user click on any note on the home screen then we redirect the user to the add node screen and then right here we say if the widget dot node is not equals to null so as i told you on the update node screen we will uh, show the user the title and the date that which the user inserted before we will show that so then our widget dot node will not be null so that's why we are saying that if the widget dot node is not equals to null then right here the title will be equals to widget dot not dot title and the date will be equals to widget dot not dot date and the priority will be equals to widget dot not dot priority and make sure to add this and after this we will set a state for it and then we will change the button text to update note and after this we will also change the title okay this title we already changed the button name to update note and then we will change the title as well to update note and then we will add a else block and inside this else block we will simply set a state okay. in the else block it is obvious that the widget dot not will will be equals to null so if it is equals to null 
then it means that the user is on the add node screen so we will say add node then outside this else block we will say underscore date controller dot text and then the underscore date formatter dot format underscore date that's it and after this init state we will also add a dispose function so so we say underscore date controller dot dispose we will dispose the date controller and then super will dispose after this we have this handle date picker and then we have the submit function so now let's just restart our application let me just close this and then just restart the application from the very start so just wait for it and once your application is running i will show it to you so now if we click on this and as you can see right here it is showing the date so today is august 16 2021 okay so now right here i will add a title by football match and the football match will be on let you say 23 of us the priority will be high because i want to play football and then if you click on the said note let's scroll down below okay it is still showing this error and it shows that null check operator used on a null value so this error is showing because we didn't add the update not list so get back to the home underscore screen dot dot and inside this caplet we have this floating action button and then right here in the add note screen we will say update note list and then underscore update note, note list and now if we restart our application okay and now let's just add for a football match click your note and as you can see right here it shows football match then this is the date and this is the priority but it is not showing on the home dot on the home screen but now as we know it is uh, inserting inside our database so in the next video we will show the notes on the home screen and also we will allow the user to delete the note so for now let me just add another note we have note and as you can see we have now two notes in our database and now in the next video we will show it on our home screen